hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get realistic skin texture in photoshop and if you are new to this channel don't forget to like this video subscribe and also turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video Now to start this your skin texture process, the first thing you have to do is to click on add new layer. So move your mouse to this area and click on add new layer. Once you are done adding the new layer, just press shift and backspace on your keyboard. Or if you don't want to press shift and backspace, head to edit and select fill once this fill section has opened make sure your content is at 50 percent gray the blending mode is at normal and the opacity is at 100 once you are done just click ok now head to your blending mode option to change this blending mode option to overlay so once you are done clicking overlay for the blending mode option right click on this layer one and convert to smart objects once you are done head to filter then look for noise and click on add noise now for the amount of the add noise leave it to be around five then you make sure that under this distribution gaussian is selected so after everything just click ok now the next thing you have to do is to double click on this layer one layer and once you double click on this layer one layer it's just going to open this your layer style now for the blending mode change it to be linear light once you have selected linear light and that's all just click ok now if we zoom in our image let's just zoom in this image you'll see that some kind of texture has start showing on the image after we change it to linear light so once you're done with changing it to linear light the next thing you have to do is to just click on this your layer one layer then you head to filter just click on filter stylize and click on emboss and once this emboss has opened you are going to see angle you'll see height you'll see amount now for the angle you are going to set the angle to where the light is coming from let's say for example the light is coming from this area touching our face so we want to move this angle to be let's say at uh, this area because the light is coming from this angle and i'm just going to leave it to be around 34 but if the light is coming from this area you can move the angle to that area now for the height i'm just going to leave it to be 11 and for the amount i'm just going to leave it let's say 91 for the amount and once i'm done i'm just going to click ok after you are done, then go to filter to blur, Gaussian blur. Now for the Gaussian blur, you can change the radius to be around 1 for the radius. And once you are done, just click OK. After you are done with everything, you can see that this our realistic skin texture effects has affected the whole picture. But we don't want it to affect the whole picture. We just want to manually apply it on only the skin. So click on this your layer 1 layer here above. Once you click on it, hold Alt on your keyboard ALT and click on Add Layer Max. So once you have added that layer max, you zoom in your image. Once you zoom in your image, now we want to start applying that skin texture to the skin. So you just select the brush. Once you select the brush, just start painting the skin. And as you can see, it's increasing the texture of the skin. This is the before and this is the after. It has bring out that beautiful skin texture for us. So I'm just going to be painting around this area and also paints below her eyes and i'm also going to be very quick while applying it so i'll just increase the size of my brush and let's just paint the ear also and on her forehead let's just apply it on this skin and on her nose so once i'm done with the nose let's move to the neck and i'm also just going to apply it on the neck and as you can see is increasing the texture of the skin you can see what i'm doing as in is increasing the texture of the skin for us and making the skin to look more realistic as in it's not looking very fake so once you are done you can choose to reduce the opacity of your layer you can head to this layer here 
click on the opacity to reduce it or you can leave it to be around 100 but for me there is no need of reducing it so if you are done with everything you can choose to add as in you can choose to just sharpen the skin if you like or you can choose to just leave it like that so to sharpen the skin you can click on this your background layer first just click on the background layer press ctrl g then go to filter select sharpen and just move to sharpen and that's all and we are done so we are just going to merge this our sharpen layer plus the skin texture layer so i'm just going to click on this our background copy layer first once i click on the background copy layer i'm just going to hold ctrl and shift and click on this our layer one layer for the skin texture and the next thing that i'm just going to do now is to press ctrl g on my keyboard and once we are done let's look at the before and the after again this is the before let's zoom in the picture again this is the before and this is the after and as you can see it has improved the texture of the skin as in in a more realistic way and this is all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos. Turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And leave a like to help the channel out.